We're talking basketball and the big shot gopher who wants an NBA career. Blake Hoffaber stops in. The NFL still in limbo. We're talking football with a former Viking who is playing. We've lost two beloved athletes. We remember Harmon Killebrew and the boogeyman, Derek Bugard. It's all next. It's game on. And it's great to be with you again. Welcome to Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm Rod Simons. Hope your Sunday, hope your weekend has been good. It's been a heck of a week for all of us. Sports fans have mourned the loss of two very, very popular athletes, generations apart, but still loved by hockey faithful as well as baseball fans. We'll talk about Harmon Killebrew and Derek Bugard. Got a big show for you. And let's get it all started with Game On by the Numbers. And it's been a rough season for the Twins. They're back home tomorrow night against the Seattle Mariners. The NFL remains stuck in limbo. Labor woes still the bug in the ointment, so to speak. As the Stanley Cup closes in, St. Paul readies for the NHL draft and the hockey world coming to town. And the Wolves are making plans for the number two pick in the upcoming NBA draft. Couldn't be more delighted to have the shooter in the house of us, Blake Hoffhaber. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. You just graduated. I did. From Gra the Carlson School of Management. Yeah, I graduated yesterday with a finance uh, degree and couldn't be more happy. Well, basketball player actually. Get, now, you're the first gopher to actually get on the all academic team, yep. correct? Yeah, that's correct. Hell of uh, an honor. Yeah, thank you. I uh, was pretty excited when I got that honor and um, feels good to be one of the first ones, but hopefully we'll have many more to come in the next few years. You've had some, some great moments in your career. Do you ever get tired of people talking about the SB shot? Let's just get it out of the way because a lot of people have asked me. Do you ever get tired of that? I mean, it seems like everyone else enjoys it a lot. So, I mean, I tend to, that's the first thing they bring up when they start talking to me. So I feel like I feel like I should keep talking with them about it and stuff like that. But it definitely gets brought up a lot. And some people would think I get tired of it. But every now and then I don't like to get a little shy about it. But okay. other people like talking about it. So I, I tend to talk about it as well. It's a great shot. <laughs> Yeah, was, Can you still make that shot? I honestly haven't tried. The last time I tried, I think, was a news station locally yeah. in high school. But I haven't, everyone always asked me at, oh, actually at Toby Smith camp, I actually did. I made it. Did you really? Yeah, for like three years ago at their summer camp, I actually made it for the campers. That's awesome. <laughs> As you turn the page on your collegiate career, and we'll talk a little bit about the Gophers here. Uh, this is a this is an interesting time because the draft lottery is behind us. We we're getting an idea where the teams are going to be and what they're going to do. Your eye is on not just the draft but making a team in the NBA, right? Yeah, I mean that's kind of the general goal. I mean you always want to keep playing whatever you do. You want to play professional, and that's something I've decided to do. Even though I got a um, good degree at Carlson School of Management, I've decided I want to play professional and. Hopefully, I mean, it would be great if it was in the NBA or something like that, and hopefully I can get some workouts here this spring. I got one with the Timberwolves here coming up, so um, hopefully I can do that. If I don't make it around here, hopefully I'll, I'll go over to Europe and um, play over there. There's a pro basketball career for you very, very soon, for sure. Yeah, there, there should be. I got a got an agent um, a couple months ago and played in the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament nice. out in uh, Virginia and played out there for the top 60 seniors. So. Um, things are looking good right now, but you just got to keep working hard like always. And any day you're going to be going out to Las Vegas. Out there, is that in front of scouts? I'm, I'm sure there's a number of those little regional things that you have to do. Yeah, there is. I'm uh, planning on going to Las Vegas here. I'm supposed to go yeah. um, tomorrow, but I'm going um, in a week so here. But um, it's got Impact Basketball, it's called. So one of the top trainers in the country works out a bunch of first rounders, some lottery picks, just a bunch of players that we go out there, do individuals, weights, um, play pickup, and just stay in good shape. So hopefully you can get uh, have some NBA guys come through or go work out for them. Do you do you play every day still? Yeah, every day, every day I gotta play. I mean, I feel like if I'm not shooting or not playing, someone else is getting better than me, and that's what, the approach I've always taken. It sounds. Sounds cliche, but I've always I've always taken that approach and feel like every day I need to get better. Is it empty gym or is it with other players or, or a, little a combination? Bit of, a little bit of both. I mean, yeah. a lot of times I go at night by myself, but you always want to play five on five and stay in shape that way too. Nice. Stay around. We've got some more to talk about with Blake Hoffarber. Don't forget, when updates, go to our website. It's gameontvmn.com. Great blogs too. We're talking about all the big issues that are up. Brandon on baseball, we'll hear from him in just a moment. The boss on MMA, extensive reach on the Vikings and all the labor issues with Shockers Locker. Also, we link you up to our website with our partner, purplepride.org. Check us out. It's gameontvmn.com.
Baseball.com. Speaking of Brandon on baseball, he's here. We're remembering Harmon Killebrew, the great man he was in the passing just a few days ago. The passing of Harmon, it's easy to think about him as a player and all the accolades that he accomplished, but uh, you know, losing the human being is even a, a bigger step there. The Twins say he's no doubt the biggest impact on their organization of, uh, of all the players in their storied 50 plus year history. And that really says a lot, as does the Lou Gehrig Award that he won in 1971, which uh, basically talks about how the player has integrity and honesty off the field rather than on the field. The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. Go green with Liberty Comfort Systems and your neighbors will be green with envy. Get the latest in green technology and save some green. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Here's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love, three ball on the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30. Wes Johnson rises up and comes down hard. Rittenauer throws it up for Darko and he lifts it in. Tolliver knocks it in. More reasons to get your 2011-2012 season tickets at Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves, united we run. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us, Rod and Blake, and talked about the professional career that is ahead of you. When you look back at your time with the Gophers, you didn't play for Dan Munson. Dan Munson recruited you, played for Tubby the entire time. What were the highlights, the best things you take looking back at, the, at your career there? I mean, just I think the first first highlight was making to the NCAA tournament my sophomore year there. I was uh, Ever since I've been a little kid, I've wanted to... Uh, be in that kind of March Madness and film myself, have Minnesota go all the championships, stuff like that. I mean, it was definitely fun being in that hype and um, just being in that whole NCAA tournament. Yeah. And it was just a fun experience. Playing for Coach Smith had to be a highlight too. Definitely. Um, I was pretty excited when we, um, we got Coach Smith as a, as a coach and I always watched him when he was at Kentucky and just having him when I got out of high school and found out he was going to be my coach, it was just kind of, it's kind of weird because no one really projected that. They were yeah. saying a bunch of other names, but I was, I was happy I got him and had Media. a good four years. Media always does that. Yeah, they do. He wasn't easy, was he? He wasn't. I mean, uh, I, I had a good relationship actually with him, but he's actually when he when you do something wrong, he'll get on you, and he's he's tough on you. But that's what you want in a coach, and you want someone that pushes you and wants you to be better. So the future's pretty bright. I hope so. I mean, uh, that's what I like to think. I mean, I want to play professionally basketball, and the um, future's looking bright with that. So hopefully, whether it's here or overseas, I'll, hopefully I can do that and um, do the thing I love. Well, keep us posted. We're very proud of you. We, you can check out the, uh, the great shots at GameOnTVMN.com and keep us posted all the way through. All right, appreciate Mike it. Mike Hubbard in the house. Great to have you here. And don't forget, there's no better place to golf in the summer, and we'd love for you to join us for Golf with a Purpose. It's Golf for the Gift, my charity golf event to raise money to help create forever families through the Gift of Adoption Grants. It's June 23rd, Troy Byrne Golf Club. It's fun, relaxing, challenging too, and a great cause. So check us out. It's Golf for the Gift, June 23rd. We'd love to have you with us. And delighted to have Shane Hudella with us from DefendingTheBlueLine.com. We've had some passings over the last week, including the passing of Derek Bugard. You guys work closely with him. Tell us about that. Derek was a great guy. You know, he, he had that reputation on the ice as a tough guy. Um, off the ice, he was a huge teddy bear. He was. A huge advocate of helping uh, our foundation, which supports military kids. And Shane, in the National Guard, you've served overseas. And so you kind of mix hockey and uh, the military very nicely. 
We do. We uh, uh, take care of military kids uh, as it regards to hockey. We provide them with free equipment, grants to help with association fees, uh, send them down to watch pro games, and it's a great cause. You know, uh, the folks that serve go through a lot, and their families even more so. So for us to be able to step in and help provide these benefits takes uh, a lot off their shoulders. The Bugard family, including the Wild and the Rangers, are so impressed by the work that you did, they're channeling donations to Defending the Blue Line. Isn't that correct? Yeah, Derek, uh, Derek had been a big supporter the last couple of years, and uh, we rece received word through the family today that uh, they'd like all the donations in memory of Derek to be made to our organization so we can keep continuing the mission in his name. Got some golf tournaments coming up, some other big events. If people want to learn more about Defending the Blue Line, how do they do that? They can go to defendingthebluelineorg uh, and, and we're right there. Awesome. We'll put that up on our website. It's right down below us too. So thank you for being with us and continue the mission and thank you for your service. Thanks, I appreciate it. Great to have you here, Shane Hudella. Time now for Voice of the Fan, brought to us by Fan HQ, as we continue to remember Harmon Killebrew. You can look at the, uh, the stat sheet, you can obviously see the home runs, RBIs, uh, all that, but what really shows how truly dominant he was in that era was 120 times he was intentionally walked. Uh, you just, you can't overstate that. Teams were afraid to pitch to him. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Vinoka, home of the heavy toppings. Hi friends, when you make mortgage decisions, Caliber Funding delivers a better experience. Caliber walks you through the process step by step and trained Caliber consultants have an array of resources to help you. Ask your loan officer about Caliber's guarantee that loan documents can be delivered three days before close. Caliber Funding is a well-capitalized direct lender, MLS number 80636, and Caliber is an equal housing lender. Caliber offers a more productive experience for you. At Caliber, you'll see a lending difference. Find us at caliberfunding.com. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us. Tay Biddle is with us. Great to have you here. Thank you. From the Edmonton Eskimos, and you played many seasons in the National Football League said enough of this I'm just gonna go up play this entire season have a great time and it's interesting because you're now preparing for a season that's going to be played while a lot of your buddies are hanging not sure what's gonna happen yeah how difficult is that for them um you know it's hard especially when they know I'm about to go play and they about to sit here and, and wait and wait and wait and see what's going on and we work out together and run around and you know, do passing together and stuff like that so it's, it's kind of difficult for them because they don't really know what to expect yet you're having a great time up in the Canadian Football League, catching a lot of passes, make, making a lot of plays. How different is the are the two games? Um, well, the field is bigger, and and like the rules are different, and, it's, and there's also more men on the field at, at one time. We play with 12 on the field instead of 11. It's it's meant to be an offensive game up there. It is. It's up tempo, fast pace. Yeah, and you have a great time doing it, especially for you because you like to catch passes for Pete's sake. Well, I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> What do you see as the situation with the Vikings? Is this a, can you go up there and have an opportunity to come back to the National Football League if you so desire? I mean, always. There's always an option to do that in, in, in any league that you're in, beside the NFL. Yeah. Um, and, you know, then that's, that's what you play for. You, you expect to go in that league and do well and get back into the NFL. And so your mindset right now is don't worry about all the labor stuff. Let's just go play a game and 
make some money doing what we do. Yeah, I mean, I take my mindset is always I take um, every day for, to the fullest. So regardless of what, what the NFL is doing, what I got to do, I, I know my duties and my job, and, and I'm going to go forward with that 100%. And your job is not just football. You make a lot of music. You're also a businessman. You're helping with a golf tournament that we'll talk about in just a minute that goes to help cure pancreatic cancer. Right. Uh, so your plate is full. You, you, you do live every day to the fullest. I try to. I try to make, I try to make the best of uh, the most out of every possible second in a day. Did you, uh, did you study business at Mississippi when you played there? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. What makes you interested in all the business side of things going on? I just pay attention to everything, and, uh, and I try to learn from everybody I'm around. So, you know, you, you tend to be around business people, you tend to pick up traits and things from them. Oh, indeed you do. Tay Biddle's with us. We're going to continue talking about a very, very special and uh, important charity event that's coming up. It's right down the road. Time now for our Voice of the Fan, brought to us by Fan HQ, as we remember the late, great Harmon Killebrew of the Minnesota Twins. In a recent interview, Harmon said that he didn't have evil intentions, but I guess I did have power. And uh, with 573 home runs, boy, he was, uh, he was really being modest about that, didn't want to overstate the, uh, the tremendous power he actually did have. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Maine and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. Welcome back. Game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Hope you're having a great weekend. Getting out of the yard, coming in, watching a little TV, and then getting back in the yard. Rod with Tay Biddle of the Edmonton Eskimos, formerly of the National Football League, and we'll be back in the National Football League if I have anything to do with it. You know, the one thing I, when I was looking at some of the numbers of the CFL, I get to watch the games down here, and I love the open structure, the offensive nature of the game. But you couldn't be with a better team because of the rich history. Warren Moon spent a lot of years there. They got a lot of hardware. Canadian Football League championships, and you guys are used to winning there. Yeah, they are, you know, and, and we try to keep that tradition going on and keep it strong. So I'm looking for a good season this year, and I, and I know the team is. Um, it's it's going to be fun. I can't what's wait a, to get there. What's a good season in terms of numbers of catches and yards and stuff for you? Benchmarks, if you will. Uh, for me, um, you know, I, I, I always try to I do myself so um, 75. Wow. That's a lot of throws. That's, that's what I'm aiming for this year, 75. Yeah, nice. Do you miss the NFL? Um, of course, of course, you miss things about it. Yeah. But I just, I just love the game, you know, and, and, I, and I have fun playing the game of football. So regardless of where I'm at, I'm gonna have fun playing. Tay spends his time also trying to help others. Pancreatic cancer is on your radar now. Tell us about the big tournament coming up on June 6th. Yeah, June 6th we have um, a swing to support. Um, it's, everything goes goes towards pancreatic cancer, um, and you know, it's just it's just opportunity to actually go out there and play golf and and enjoy some of the athletes that we got coming out. And um, you know, it's like it's like just some of the, some of the fans that want to be there and just 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 a fun field day actually. You know. Website right below, Swing to Support. Please, if you can help out, we'd love to have you June 6th. June 6th. May, if you ask, maybe be able to play with Tay. Hey, come on, come aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you here. We'll keep up. Thank you. And thank you again. We'll keep telling you all about Swing to Support as it gets closer on June 6th. Thank you for being here. Oh, in time. Don't forget, we'd love to have you at a live taping. Check us out at GameOnTVMN.com every Tuesday. Take in a live taping. Up next, we have Sidney Rice, Phil Lodeholt, and MMA specialist, former Mayak wrestler Marcus Levesser. Live show, autographs, all of it. Check us out. We'd love to have you at Courtside Bar and Grill.
Delighted to have the Centennial High School baseball team, the Cougars, in the house. And this is Coach Len Buner. Got to be pretty proud of these guys. Good to have you here. Nice to see you. You guys are having another good season. Centennial baseball does that every single year. Yep, we have uh, good guys, uh, come from a good family, they work hard, and uh, they love the game. I mean, it makes it pretty easy. Now, you told me that uh, they work hard in class, which makes your job a little bit easier. Certainly does. You have to have good athletes, but you have to have good academic students as well. How's your season been? Uh, we're 9-8 and eight right now. We're playing in a real tough conference. Um, we've been in most of our games. Uh, we just got to clean up a few things and get ready for sections. We'll be all right. It's the big time of year because you ultimately want to win the state championship. But a lot of good things can happen in sectional play, even though you had what you might call a mediocre season at times. Several years, most years, a lot of years. Um, Teams that are rated one or two in the in the in the sections uh, get eliminated fairly quick. So uh, our chances as good as anybody else's. We've got a good group of guys, and uh, we'll take after them. We're going to name drop now. You got a pretty special pitcher that you want to watch when the uh, Major League Baseball draft comes in. Well, we have a couple. Yes. Special ones. We have one special one here, a left-hander, um, Austin Malinowski. He's going to uh, uh, University of Arizona on, nice. on a scholarship. We have another nice right-handed pitcher, uh, Josh Matheson. He's going to Mankato. The nice thing is you guys are playing, having a good time. We're going to be wishing you nothing but the best as sectionals start later on this uh, week, right? Yep, thank you. Great to have you here. Centennial High School, whoop it up for you guys. Give it up. Yeah. Centennial High School, our high school spotlight team of the week. Time now for the Wheels of Thunder week ahead. The Twins are home against the Seattle Mariners tomorrow. The Stars get Tampa Bay and Boxing's Big card is May 27th at the St. Paul Armory. Good stuff. The Lynx are set for their opener against the LA Sparks. The Machine football team returns on the 11th, and the Saints will play in just a couple hours at Midway. Don't forget, swing to support with all the NFL cast on June 6th at Mystic Lake. It's for a great cause. Check out their website. The fight is against pancreatic cancer. And Fan HQ with some big names coming to town. Justin Morneau will have a private signing. Get all your stuff to them by May 25th. Danny Valencia in the house at Ridgedale, June 18th. And Michael Kadire, June 29th. And time now for Voice of the Fan as we remember Harmon Killebrew with our own Branded on Baseball. One of the biggest things that Harmon gave to the game was that they uh, totally changed the way that they measured home runs. He hit a long home run that was measured at 435 feet at the old Met. And uh, Tom Mee, the official scorer, decided he was going to have a, a physics professor help him refigure how a home run ball would be measured. And uh, they redid it and it was 522 feet. So it was the longest home run in the history of the Met. Walling Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling Berg and Deebly is there. Walling Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612 326 3453 or visit WBDlaw.com. What's your name? Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. My nine for 99. My nine for 99. The all new bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all white meat chicken. 99. My 99. My 99. We got your 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Renoka, home of the heavy toppings. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. The GM is in the house. Mr. Craig Carger, what's hot this week? Hey Rod, you know we have uh, Sunday nights and Wednesday night bags tournaments. Tuesday nights we have the dart tournaments. You can come watch a taping of Game On right here. And my favorite day of the week, Sunday fun day. Kids eat free all day Sundays. And it's not a joke. Kids do come in 
free lunch for the kids. Yes, it is. Great stuff, and the best burgers anywhere. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us here. Courtside Bar and Grill, host of Game On. It is time for the Mayak Minute. Delighted to have John Sheeta with us, the Mayak Coach of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on a Mayak Championship. Didn't quite get to the World Series, but it's a very, very good season, isn't it? It was a great year, yeah. Come up a little short. Everybody wants to win a national title, but uh, you got to be happy with the effort they put out. You look at your list of achievements for the season, 31-game winning streak, all those wins and all the numbers that you pile up. Bottom line is you've got some quality kids putting out an effort every yeah. single day. Yeah, no doubt. Anytime you go on streaks, and we've had a lot of different streaks, you know, good streaks, it's usually their uh, commitment to practice, to every day of showing up and giving it their best. So they're really their, their mental commitment more than their physical commitment. It's and, been very good. And when you win as often and, and you go as deep as you go into the playoffs, there's got to be some serious disappointment because I would imagine you go into the playoffs expecting to win it all. Yeah, you know, that's the goal. And every day of practice, and uh, whether you win or lose, it really, we're not worried about the wins and losses. We're worried about playing at a certain level. Yeah. So when you get to there and you're kind of peaking, you're starting to go. But at the end, you know, there's only one team that's happy, so really happy. The yeah. rest of them are satisfied, but they'd like to have one more win. Do you take some time off, uh, big coach of the year and all the things that are going on? Do you take time to uh, regroup, or are you already tr starting for next season? No, immediately. In fact, I remember our first national championship. Uh, they were giving out awards, and I'm sitting there thinking about where I'm going recruiting yeah. and how I get the next kids. So, no, it's never ending, but it's a, it's a hobby. It's a passion, so it's not really work. <laughs> well, and, and one of the things, a quick story, because I found it fascinating. We laughed about it. You have a very famous last name. Yeah. But you're not related to the umpire. Yeah, the cheetah. It sounds funny, spelled funny, and uh, yet there's a lot of us in the St. Paul area that are unrelated and got to be related eventually. Yeah. But Tim Cheetah's umpire in the big leagues does a great job, uh, great sense of humor. Same high school. As I mentioned, we had eight cheetahs in the same homeroom that my so age, and none of us knew each other. Well, you're the coach of the year. We're delighted you're here. Thank Congratulations you. on all the good things happening, and get them next year, too. Thank you. That's are my act minute. But don't forget, if you're interested in what's happening with the National Basketball Association, the Wolves especially, especially after this lottery selection process that happened just a couple days ago, check out my weekly blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com, part of a great NBA website full of inside information and Wolves viewpoints. All at your fingertips. It's interactive. So check us out. It's Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for Simon Says every Thursday morning at Timberwolves.com. Busy show it was, and that's it for us. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget, check out our website, GameOnTVMN.com, for all the updates. And we do answer our tweets. So tweet us at GameOnTVMN. I'm Rod Simons. Have a great week, and keep your game on.